num 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 yum 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 yum Uh, can I do um, the two for six dollar uh, gyros? Uh, thank you. So, if you ever wonder why a drive through would ask you to pull up, it's because they have a timer of how long a person is waiting at the window. Um, so, to reduce that time and make their store look better, they uh, ask you to pull up. I could understand that for like really big orders, like if I was doing a food challenge, but honestly, that's really just three gyros and tenders. I find that silly. You know, corporations, they need to stop caring about how long the people wait at on the line. I think it's silly. Thank you. So I am gonna do a quick bite of my spicy gyro. I feel like this is 0.5 pounds. And a chicken tender. I'll be back on my thoughts with that at home. And we're at home. Teleport. <laughs> anyway, guys. I got the spicy gyro. I have my dad's that I didn't bite. Now I said around 5.5 ounces. This feels heavier. I'm gonna say this is six ounces. Let's weigh it out. Oh wow, I'm super off. It's 9.7 ounces. Whoa, that was bad. Oh, I was thinking for some reason I was thinking half a pound is is uh six. It's eight. So yeah. My math is off. Anyways, so this is over half a pound. Price point on this is two for six bucks. So let's get into it again. Now I bit it fresh. This was about a 10 minute drive home. Let's get into it. Oh, calorie count if there is one. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. Okay. Let's get into this. <clears throat> if you've watched any of my previous past videos, you know I love the Arby's Gyro. And if you guys think I'm pronouncing it wrong, because everyone always complains about how I pronounce gyros, I cannot win. It's gyros, gyros, or gyros. I've heard so many different pronunciations. I'm gonna go with gyros. I'm sorry. That's just the standard here in America. Don't get mad at me because if you don't like it one way, someone else is gonna complain. I say it a different way. I can't win. 
<laughs> Anyways, I love Arby's gyros, and for two for six dollars is a great deal. Um, but that spicy sauce, it has a decent kick to it. It's not overly spicy, but it adds a sweetness to it that I don't care for. I'm pretty sure the regular ones don't add that sweetness. So that hot sauce that you they use, yeah, it's spicy, but it's also sweet. So I don't care for the spicy gyro. I mean, it's still good. Yeah, it's tasty, but I'd actually prefer getting the uh, what you call it, the regular one. It's like a it's like Miracle Whip sweetness. That's that's how I can best describe it. And I don't like Miracle Whip. Uh, I know Brandon Garbage Disposal loves it. I absolutely despise Miracle Whip. But I also have a regular one in here. It's my mom's. But she said she didn't want all of it. So I'm going to take a quick bite and make sure that I'm super accurate on this. Cut it. Oh boy. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one feels hard, like if the bread was sitting out. Let me get a side with like a lot of sauce though. This side has more sauce. Well, yeah, the bread on this one is cold. I don't know. This thing is super tough. Anyways. Ooh, that bread is old. Um, yeah, the, the spicy one definitely has a sweetness I don't care for, like a Miracle Whip sweetness. I don't like it. Um, I would do this again, two for six bucks, even if I didn't care for that sweet, spicy sauce. But you can also get the regular ones for the two for six also. So I would actually prefer that over the spicy. Um, but all in all, delicious. I'd give this a 7.8 for the the pricing, two for six, great deal, $3. Size of the food, 9.6 ounces, over half a pound. And yeah, flavor. Now see, the, it would have gone been in the eights if it didn't have that uh, sweetness to it that I don't care for. So the regular one, I'll give it a 8.4. No, 8.3, that's a bit high. Um, yeah, also difference between eating it here and in the car, I'd say it made a 10% difference. <laughs> it was definitely better in the car. Um, the taco, uh, burrito potato thing that I just tried from Taco Bell, beefy potato burrito, didn't make a difference between home and eating it there. This one did. Uh, I feel like the meat was a bit juicier and whatnot, and yeah, but all in all, very good. And I have some chicken tenders also. Now they gave me one big, giant chicken tender and then two small ones. I asked for honey mustard. I wanna see how this honey mustard compares to Wendy's. Oh, two for six, this is part of the two for six, kinda pricey. Mm. Their honey mustard sauce is pretty good. Kind of tastes like Wendy's. Oh. 
nuggets are actually a bit juicy. Ah. Without the sauce, it is a tad bit salty, which I don't like. But this is it pretty good? So, if I was craving chicken tenders, which I usually don't, I would definitely do this again. As well as the gyros. 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 <laughs> Anyways, guys, that concludes this Wayne and What's in the Book Headlock Food Review. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy. Shh. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you have done this again? Have you tried this? Um, yeah. And one of my first uh, YouTube videos was a Arby's gyro challenge. Like eight, ten of them as fast as possible. Check it out. Deuces. One more move to crawl. One more bridge to take. Gotta live my life like there's one more move to make.